Hey guys, welcome back to another video that I doubt more than three people will ever see. So I decided I wanted to do a video a while back on writers that I feel are overrated and I don't understand why they get the attention that they get. Uh, these, um, this one's just going to be kind of a general list of a few people that I don't particularly like, nor can I even understand where the appeal for people who do like them comes from. Uh, so just jumping into that, I think the first person right off the bat I would say is James Patterson. Uh, James Patterson sucks. <laughs> he writes dialogue like a third grader. Um, his story is very simplistic. They feel more like uh, fiction that a 12 year old would write who thinks this is what action or suspense fiction is. He uses the most bland, uh, basic stereotypical characters. He uses racial stereotypical characters. He writes chapters that are super short and don't really serve to tell a story so much as just rush to the next plot point as thin as it is. Uh, not only that, he doesn't even write his own stuff. He has teams of ghostwriters write it for him and he slaps his name on the book cover. Uh, it'll be James Patterson and then below it in a smaller lettering another name and you know the guy with the less smaller name wrote the majority of the book uh, and I doubt Patterson pays his coast writers that much now I don't know this and I can't confirm that I, I just feel like that's the case <laughs> that's just that's just speculation on my part uh, another writer I don't like is Dean Koontz I don't understand why people read Dean Koontz I don't think he I don't think he's as good as people think he is. Uh, he's a best-selling writer. He's considered a master of horror, suspense fiction. There's things I like about Koontz, but overall I don't think he's that good. He writes very schmaltzy, sentimental characters and stories. Uh, he writes very generalized, uh, two perfect characters who have a perfect solution for every single problem that arises. Uh, he, his characters speak in dialogue that isn't realistic but is rather snappy one-liners at each other you know as if they're trying to out clever each other uh, rather than uh, move the story along or communicate an expression of thought um, uh, that said I mean he doesn't know how to write a sentence he uh, pr as a prose writer is fine he, he can write a decent sentence he, he can spin a good metaphor uh, even his premises are actually pretty interesting. It's just the executions I typically don't like about Koontz. Uh, he has like really promising like scenarios for his novels, and then when you actually read them, they're like, oh, this is total bullshit. Uh, this is a very much of a letdown. Uh, another another writer I think I don't like is Brett Easton Ellis. Uh, I think he is all style and no substance. Uh, I tried reading American Psycho got less than 20 pages into it and I had to put it down. I I don't understand the hype. I don't understand why people laud him and praise him as this intellectual sat satirist. I don't see anything of merit. Uh, and that's the thing. When I, I'm watching the film version of American Psycho is entertaining, but that's more just for the acting. It's more for how over the top it is. And the tone of the movie is very different from right? the very dry, uh, trying too hard to be clever tone of the book. Uh, and that's one of the cases where I think, like a lot of other cases, the movie is actually better than the book. Uh, another quick one I will say is William Faulkner. I think he's another one who just tries to show off how clever he is and show off like stylistic things and structure things as opposed to just trying to tell a good story. And that's to me like the worst thing of an overrated writer is just someone who's trying to show off rather than tell a good story. Uh, so anyways, who are some overrated writers you guys think are people you don't understand the appeal of? Tell me in the comments below, those of you who actually watch this. Uh, and until I see you guys again, I'll be back in the next one, whenever that'll be. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.